My name is Kevin Brown. I'm going to be moderating the data center panel here today. Uh, my day job is I'm uh, vice president of strategy and technology for the data center solution within Schneider. Um, and today, but I've got a much more challenging job, which is trying to harness the uh, talent and brain power here uh, for to hopefully make a useful and interesting interaction. Uh, I'm going to start with some introductions. So first is Prith Banerjee. He's the executive vice president, chief technology officer, and a member of the executive committee of Schneider Electric. Next to Prith is Andy Lawrence. Andy is um, an analyst with 451. Uh, long time, lots of experience looking at the data center, so thank you very much for joining us, Andy. Uh, next to Andy is Hal Grant, who is uh, the executive vice president of the IT business. Next to Hal is, uh, let's see if I can get it right, Knut Mulaug. He's the CEO of Green Mountain, a co-location provider in uh, Norway. Uh, next to Knut is uh, Daniel Doimo, another Schneider guy. Uh, he's the executive vice president of Global Solutions, a member of the executive committee at Schneider. Uh, he has over 25 years of management experience in the power, quality, protection, and conversion marketplace. Daniel, thank you very much for uh, joining the panel. And uh, last but certainly not least, but I put you there because you have the most difficult name for me to pronounce, is uh, Bernard Organlion. Is that close? Okay. Uh, he is from Microsoft France. He joined in 1999. He's the chief, chief technology officer and has been appointed as uh, the, not only the chief technology officer, but chief security officer for Microsoft France since 2001. Over the last few years, most of our focus has been around responding to cloud computing. That's what the industry's been talking about. And one of the things that I've been hearing a lot of terms with is, you know what, we're starting to run up against bandwidth limitations that might impact what's happening in data center designs. Then there's this term IoT, have you ever heard of it? Uh, it's used from time to time. Edge computing's another term. Then there's industrial IoT, convergence, so all of a sudden, it's not storage and servers, but everything's converging together. Maybe you could help us get started here. Is, is any of this real? Are these terms meaningful? Or is this really just uh, the IT industry overhyping itself again? It's not marketing hype. It, it is a, a definitely a very real fundamental um, uh, cluster of developments you know, that, we've, that we've seen over the last uh, five, 10 years, and we can expect to see unfold over the next five or 10. So what, what's really happened is at the center, at, at the cloud, public cloud level, we've seen uh, the ability to create industrialized, commoditized, self-service, automated IT uh, on, on a fundamentally um, realigned and reduced cost basis. This in turn has sucked huge amounts of, of demand and traffic in and we're seeing a huge build out of data center capacity at the center. At the same time, this has created a lot of demand at the edge. There is not, uh, it, it doesn't make sense to bring all that compute back to the middle, so it's now fueling a uh, new build out at the edge. So our, um, all of our analysis shows that you know, the cloud, we often get asked the question, is everything going to the cloud? Um, the, the answer is definitely no. It is not a zero-sum game that every area of compute, whether it's co of, of data center, is, is uh, being built out, whether it's co-location, whether it's edge of network, whether it's the center. So, so it really is quite fundamental. It's quite an exciting time. There's a lot of devices and a lot of information that happens in this industrial segment. And uh, how do you see that IT and technology, how do we need to adapt with this idea that you know, what used to be industry and IT was separate, now the two seem to be coming together in many ways. So what has happened is the last 20 years, the world of uh, IoT has impacted primarily the consumer market, right? You and I, we use iPhones and iPads and so on, and it has sort of allowed the two billion people on the planet to talk to each other. The data centers in the cloud that we are talking about will be needed to support this I industrial IoT area, and then, oh, by the way, the whole data center area can benefit through IoT because to manage the data centers, you need the software like the DC, the data center information management software that we already have. So we are going to use the IoT technology to make our data centers edge, cloud, more efficient, more energy efficient, and so on. Applying data centers to analyze the data and using IoT technology to make our data centers more efficient and scalable in the future. Is that true? It's not true. It's not. I'm surprised to hear you say that. Maybe you can educate us some on what you're seeing. 
Well, uh, for, first uh, I'd like to say we, we operate two data centers today. We claim ourselves that we are the greenest data centers in the world. And to gain that efficiency, we decided when we built these uh, data centers that we have to utilize the technology and the uh, systems that we are actually servicing, it's the IT industry and IT systems. At the moment, we have more than 20,000 measuring points in each of our data centers, which means that we measure almost everything. If everything was going into a, a, a central um, data center, today, uh, if I, I'm, I'm not incorrect, uh, I think it's, there is about 2% capacity of the requir required uh, capacity uh, if everything was going into one point. You know, I'm interested, Bernard, maybe you have a perspective with Microsoft. Uh, certainly Microsoft's in a unique position in this market and has been transforming itself over the last couple of years. What's your view on you know, this hybrid environment that seems to be evolving and, and what's going to be the right answer for customers? So if we look at our customers today, uh, they are already running in a hybrid environment. So um, our strategy is around uh, hyperscale data centers, uh, like you mentioned. Uh, where uh, the, the basic tunic is around 70 megawatts to, to give you some idea about the size of the data centers. But at the same time, we understand that for various reasons, which could be uh, reg regulatory or legal, uh, some of our customers uh, impose that uh, there is some kind of data residency uh, in their own country. So uh, as an example, we are now operating our Azure, which is our cloud environment, uh, from uh, 30 different regions, uh, which is, by the way, more than Google and Amazon combined. And if we look a little bit further ahead uh, in the future, uh, we think that our customers themselves uh, should be able to run uh, their operation in their own data centers or potentially uh, within uh, co-location data centers uh, in the same way uh, we are currently running our uh, own operations. And if you look at what could potentially happen in the future, well, telcos, where uh, 5G uh, becomes a reality, We'll need to cope with uh, one, main, uh, one millisecond uh, uh, latency. In such an environment, you cannot go uh, to very big data center very, very uh, far away from your own location, which means that uh, there will be in the future ways for telcos, for mobile operators to have their own cloud, which will be part of a giant infrastructure able to deliver 5G to their customers. Cloud, by definition, gives the impression that everything is global. And what people expect in a global world are, is consistency, predictability, and uh, agility capacity to, uh, to adapt, I mean, the example of the, the, the latency time. That's changed the way we, we design, which brings the, uh, the concept of modularity and, again, flexibility through uh, different architecture. The way we deliver, uh, the capacity to deliver a consistent experience through, uh, you know, very clear processes. Uh, and also the uh, consistency in the way you, you operate. Uh, this is where software are becoming more and more important. Different industries have different problems. We help uh, bring simplicity to a complex uh, world, because global means complex. The future, I think we all agree, the future of the data center, it really is going to be a hybrid environment. It's going to involve small data centers dealing with edge IoT applications. You're going to have people uh, putting things into co-location facilities. There's going to be trans, uh, uh, movement between applications, be maybe between the cloud and on-premise, because Microsoft's trying to enable people to do that. Do we all agree that there's kind of this hybrid vision of the future? Anything that we can do to ensure the quality inside the factory before it gets to the customer, any testing we can do, lead time's incredibly important, time to market from the time the investment's made till the time the revenue is coming in is incredibly important. And we're listening to the customers and we're taking that into account in the things we're doing in a more agile way.